December 2023. Goodbye, cold and wet UK. And hello, hot and sunny Australia. This is the Honda dealer in Narang on the Gold Coast, where I arrived to pick up my ride for the next two weeks. It was the Africa Tween, the queen of the road as I called her. Very apprehensive to start with, thought it was too tall, too big for me. Luckily it was none of those things and we got on like house on fire straight away. <laughs> Look at my face. I was grinning like a fool. <laughs> oh, just put me on a bike and I'm happy. We were soon out of town. I was getting used to the bike and slightly frustrated with the slow rider in front of me. So I know, I know, a double white line, but I had to do it. So first 20 minutes got out of the dealers and had the most amazing road straight away and now stuck at the traffic lights because there are road works. Um, it's been a few minutes already but um, kind of cool chance to actually sink in. I'm staying in O'Reilly's tropical forest retreat and <laughs> I'm doing a treetop walk. Oh shit, look how high I am. Whoa. And then it's walking across there. Amazing. Don't look down, Maya. Whoa, good job, it's just me here. Wow, that's high. Waking up this early really was no hardship, having those visitors on my balcony and watching the sunrise. Spectacular. And I was on my way, but not so fast. I had to go back to the dealers to swap the bikes for a different one because this one came up with some morning lights. It turns out that was an absolute lifesaver because I've bought a backpack with a water bladder and I really needed it a few days later. 
The fact that I've lost a couple of hours of riding that day didn't really make any difference. When travelling solo, I never pre-book accommodation. I tend to stop just after lunchtime, see how I feel, how far I want to go and then book something online or phone ahead to the place I want to stop at. Now I really was on my way. This is the road going from Queensland to New South Wales and I was starting to get really giddy about my adventure. Now I'm sword. Words are so noisy. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm here is because this is Yawi Crossing. I don't know what it means, but it's here. And so am I. There's no other way to say it. But <laughs> fuck me, it's hot. I'm really glad that I got the um, backpack with water tank in it, I keep sipping on it, it means I don't have to stop every five minutes, which is really great because with the mesh jacket and mesh trousers, the wind, it's warm, but at least it's flowing through, so that's much easier. I'm here at the Yawi crossing. It's just uh, close to the border of uh, Queensland and New South Wales. So that's one for the map if you're in Australia riding a bike. That's the spot. Luckily, I saw no real yowies, so I carried on. One of the reasons I like traveling solo is that you can just stop whenever you see something interesting, beautiful, weird and random. Just like this motorbikes art gallery with donkeys and EV. I stopped and had a chat with Fred and his wife, had a look at uh, some controversial art, had a chat with a few of the locals that were there and then carried on. After that wonderfully random encounter, I carried on to my evening's destination, which was Lennox Head. I arrived in plenty of time to have a quick change and go to the beach and yes, go for a swim. <laughs> 